I don't know what else to say. We are going to be doing the my favorite franchise of all time, a Marvel movie, and this time it's Thor, Thor, Thor. Oh my God, that's a that's a mouthful. But it's Thor: Love and Thunder. I am so excited for this trailer. I kind of want to dissect it a little bit before um I have to go. Hopefully, I do have enough time to dissect it. Um, but um, if I don't, I'm gonna kind of like just do that. So, um, that's my plan. Hope you guys um enjoy. And uh, let's get right into this video. Without further ado, three, two, one, go. Oh wait. Oh, I know why. I need to. Sorry. Me. In three, two, one, go. Oh my God. Dane. Okay. I love the song. That's perfect. Oh, and then we got. Oh. I'm so thankful they actually showed Garden of the Galaxy in the first teaser. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be something. Yes! Oh my god. Bro. That was that Russell Crowe? A Zeus? Oh, yes! I love. <laughs> oh my God! <gasps> yes! Woo! Bro! That made the books. Alright, um, we're gonna talk about that. Um, let's go back to some of these pictures. Um, I love that they actually included the, um, the, the, um, oh god, it's a little bit bad in that scene. But I, I love that they included the Guardians of the Galaxy in this. And and that he's part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. It seems like it. Um, from a standpoint. Um, because after Avengers Endgame, everything is wrong. He doesn't know what he doesn't know what to do with his life because he doesn't know if he should be the guardian of Asgard anymore. Um, which is understandable from a perspective. So, um, it might be like he wants to find some type of way to help um, them. Uh, it's kind of cool that I did like this one scene with, um, where is it? Uh, I love this scene because we get to see all of them. And, and it's funny because we get to see Teen Groot again. Uh, but... Um, that looks like Teen Groot. I wonder if he's gonna be Baby Groot in the game, in the, in the, in the thing. Or is he Teen Groot now? I'm not entirely sure. But, I love that in this scene, they did, like, this shot where Star Wars was trying to look at the Guardians of the Galaxy, and Thor was, like, moving over just to block him or something. I don't know if that was intentional or something, but then my favorite scene of all time, definitely is the end and I can't really dissect this that much because I have class very soon but this is my favorite shot because he is surprised because it's a multiversal problematic situation that's what I'm getting from this that's what my vibe is that's my theory um if you guys know that the multiverse is open now I think there's a multiversal 
idea that either she is Thor in a different world or that she just became Thor while he is not Thor anymore. So that's my theory. And I hope that's what the situation is. Um, and we'll see what that is. Um, Ari, Ari, no. Girl, no. Lay down. Lay down. You had to lay down, girl. I'm sorry. I'm not letting you out. Um, lay down. Oh. Sammy needs to come in. Sam, come on. There. There, buddy. You both have to stay in here. Which kind of is upsetting, but um, I don't know. Um, but anyway, that is awesome, and I cannot wait to show more. Um, I thought that was crazy. Like, I, I didn't get to see every shot. I wish I could. Maybe I'll do a breakdown video if you guys want me to. Um, just tell me in the comments below. Um, I'm not really good at breakdown videos, but I will try my best. But I tried to, like, do a certain couple of shots here and there, um, that I liked. Um, is there anything else that I'm missing? No. That, that was about it. Okay. Um, I was surprised, because it was only a one thirty minute second tra minute trailer, so one minute and 30 second trailer. So, that's about it. Um, what do you guys think? Personally, best shot. Natalie Portman as um, Thor. Even though no, a lot of people don't like Natalie Portman, I'm okay with her being Thor because in the comics, eventually she becomes Thor and I actually would love to see it in a multiversal type of way because that's what is going to happen. There's going to have to be different Thors and different um, variants and in this movie. And I think there's going to be a fat Thor and then there's going to be a regular Thor that is from a different alternate universe. So, alright, bye.